Hello everybody and welcome back to Before We Leave. My name is of course Constantine and look at this, we are ready to launch up into space. We are ready to go and visit another planet here. Now keep in mind, before we did that, what we had to do is not only repair the ship, but also we had to collect quite a lot of resources and get them ready in the ship here, along with a few peeps as well. And if you look at it, now it's just ready to launch, we just simply can uh, launch it up. But, of course, before we leave, <laughs> let's just see what uh, else is happening here. Let's just make sure the islands here are well um, respected, I guess, and nothing wrong is happening until we come back. Um, also, what I want to do, since I didn't get any names for island number 3, I think I'm going to rename this island right here. And the name I'm going to put is Space. X, of course. And the reason I'm going with this name is because this is where we found our spaceship. And once we come back here, hopefully uh, we will know exactly, we'll have a really nice name to uh, use. Now, before we do anything, what I would also like to do is... Can I rename the spaceship? I cannot. Alright, I really wanted to go with Falcon Heavy or something like that on this spaceship. But apparently we cannot really do that, so I am gonna just ignore that for now. And what I'm gonna do next is look at the other islands. So let's see, Santinople is doing pretty well. Uh, we have 62 out of 62 people here. Uh, what I did also is that I sent some people from this island to SpaceX. And also removed some of the houses here because I didn't want some more people to spawn in here. Um, I just discovered that if you have way too many peeps on one island, you are gonna run into quite a lot of trouble, especially hunger and stuff like that. So look at this. This island here had pretty much a lot of issues with hunger. So what I'm gonna do is uh, prioritize this one. I do want to have a lot of people working here for and bringing some food in because my people here were almost starving, and I had to deliver food from other islands in order to get this going. But uh, currently, I think uh, I think we're all good in here, and we may not have any more issues. So let's go back to S SpaceX right here, and of course, let's launch into space. Let's see what's gonna happen here because I'm really, really excited. Whoa! Look at this! Are you kidding me? What the heck? Space! Look at that! Welcome to space. From here, you're on your own. You'll learn all I can teach you. I can give you a few final thoughts. Click on the spaceship orbiting our planet and use it to colonize a new world. There's a new button both here and in the planet view, just above the spaceship mode, that lets you transfer between planets. To trade between planets, you'll need to invent space flight, then build a landing pad on each planet, and the launch pad to construct more spaceships. Watch out for guardians, and above all, have fun exploring. <laughs> Alright, I'm um, not quite sure exactly what he means by watch out for guardians. Don't really know exactly what that's supposed to mean, but... Look at this, man. Look at this. We are finally exploring. This is so good. I'm loving this. And, uh, hold up. Can I rename our pla- Oh, we can! That is awesome. Well, of course, I'm gonna go with Earth. This is gonna be the name of our first planet here. And, uh, I didn't want it to go- no, 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 no. I want to go back in space. Hold up. How can I go back in space? Oh, by pressing tab. Space system. Look at that. <laughs> this is really cool, man. I am loving this. And if you go right here, look at this. Are you freaking kidding me right now? This is just great. It's exactly what we needed to explore a new planet. Alright, so we are in space right now. Um, what I want to do next is try to explore this area, I guess. How am I supposed to... Oh, is this a new planet over here? How am I supposed to do that? Hmm. I mean, of course, we can let all people just explore the area. If I press tab, we just return, and if I press L, we're going to the shipping mode. Uh, which is just gonna be in this location. And if I press this arrow, nothing. Colonize. 
Oh, look at this. We can actually rename the spaceship. I knew it. So, of course, I'm going to go with Falcon Heavy. <laughs> there we go. This is going to be the name of our first uh, spaceship here. And apparently we can colonize other planets. Interesting. How am I supposed to do that again? Because apparently I don't really have that option. Oh, we're actually going to a new planet. Look at that. What? No way. Are they going inside it or what the crap are they doing? I don't even know. Oh, there we go. We got planet number two. That is awesome. And apparently this is where we're gonna start from the scratch again, right? I believe. You discover a new kind of ancient technology. You feel that you're following in the footsteps of those who came before. Gather it with your explorers to unlock new secrets of the ancients. Holy crap. Well, you know what, guys? I think I'm gonna wait for you guys to give me a good name for this planet as well, because I do want to rename this one somehow. In the meantime, let's just colonize. Look at this. Look at our freaking spaceship, dude. That is amazing. Alright, uh, what is this one saying? You've reached a new planet, but life here is precarious, and there doesn't seem to be an ancient transformer to rely on. So make sure you get the basics, particularly the tools, set up before you run out of resources. Interesting. So we gotta pay attention here what we do. Uh, we do have some ancient technology. Currently we have just 30 tools around, lying around. Um, so what we're gonna have to do is... Set up a road up to here. Um, fortunately, we're not gonna be able to build some good stuff here un unless we have a library. So, let's just set up a library... Uh, hold up. Let's go with the road up to here. Uh, let's also go with another road up to here. Let's start building up some homes. Let's see. Homes do not take tools, which is really great. So, uh, currently we have three people. So I'm guessing three homes are gonna be what we need. Yeah, let's just go with three homes here. Alright, uh, in the meantime... Uh, we are gonna need a library, of course, in order to build up the stuff that we researched on the other planets. So, let's see, let's go with the library right here. Alright, so now we have eight homes for five people. Actually, we do have quite a lot of people, but unless we have enough homes for them to exit the uh, spaceship, I think they're not gonna exit. Yeah, look at this, 24 people in here. Alright, so hopefully we can get this going. Um, let's see, this one is getting built up. Once it does though, we are gonna have to go with uh, an elevator right here and then start building up Toolsmith. That's definitely something we need. Also, in the meantime, uh, let's get a road going maybe up to here. Let's see, let's try to be careful what we're doing. So this one is going to take two tools in order to be built. Uh, I see that the houses took some tools as well though, so that is not good. I'm not going to make this just yet, we do have enough wood for now. Uh, I just want to make sure I get everything right. I see that my peeps are getting thirsty on the other planets, but hopefully they will be good. Uh, in the meantime, let's create a elevator right up here. I think I'm gonna place it right here. Alright, once they're done with this one, we are gonna be able to go to a new location. Uh, what I also wanna do is get a road here, get rid of this, because this is gonna bring me wood. And I may wanna put a um, sawmill around here somewhere, because there's a lot of forests around. Get a road up to here as well, because apparently we are gonna get some blue research around here. Which is not gonna be bad at all. Alright, and if I go... I mean, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna place a uh, woodsmith right here, but not just yet. Uh, what I'm gonna do next, after this, we are gonna expand this way. We do have quite a lot more stuff around here as well. Let's go 
connect you there, get rid of that, and get rid of this as well. Alright, get some more rolls from me here, get rid of that. And the bridge is ready here, that is great. Um, what we need next is to start building up, um, let's see, some stuff to start gathering the metals. So this is going to give me iron ore. So what we need in order for that to work, we will need a iron mine. And hold up, let's put a road up to here. We do have this thing that we got to grab as well, so let's see, how can we do this? Maybe go like that actually, remove that. And I'm going to put the iron right over here. So this guy is going to grab some iron from this thing. Perfect. Next up, we need some roads going up to this thing because we need to grab that research. And we may also need to grab this stuff as well. Uh, but for now, we are going to need something else. We are going to need to grab some rocks uh, because we are going to run out of that as well. Uh, although, before I do that, what we need, and that's going to be more important, is going to be the iron smelter, of course. That I'm going to place, I think, around here somewhere, just like that. And next to that is going to be the, let's see, the toolsmith. Where do we have a toolsmith? Alright, and the toolsmith right here. Now, these are very important because uh, the, tu the tutorial said that we need to make sure we have enough stuff in order to start producing toolsmith tools. So, this is going to be enough for us to get it going, I guess. I really hope so, at least. Uh, I see that we are running low on wood, of course. So, in order for that to work, we are also going to need this guy to start chopping up trees. There we go. Let's just prioritize this one, because this one's going to be really important. Alright, uh, how are we doing on food? Of course, we're running through food. And we are going to have to start producing some food really fast as well. So, let's get this going. Let's see, let's remove that, let's remove that. Get a road up to here. I am going to make a... Um... Warehouse. We are definitely going to need a warehouse. Of course, this one is going to need wood as well. But let's just get a warehouse right up there. Let's get rid of these two. Because this is where we're going to have a lot of food going. A lot of food production, I guess. Um, so this one is producing wood. Look at that. That is perfect. Or at least I hope so. They're not going to be able to put it anywhere until we have a warehouse again. Uh, let's get rid of that. Let's make a road up to here. Let's get rid of that. Another road up to here. And get rid of that as well. Alright, perfect. And right up here, I'm going to put another woodsmith. Alright, we are looking good so far. Uh, another road up here. Let's keep going this way, I guess. Get rid of that. There we go, perfect. We are going to have a lot of stuff to collect here for our researchers. That's going to be amazing. Uh, maybe that's going to be all we need in order to finish up the research uh, the research tree. The skill tree or research tree, I guess we could call it. Uh, let's see. We are completely out of wood. But the thing is, these are completely done. Uh, what we need next is power in, run, in order to run these. So, what we need to do is start producing some power. I'm not going to go with the oil generator because... I don't know. Do we even have any oil on us? I don't think we have. So I'm going to go with the simple wood generator that I am going to place right up here. Or maybe... Actually, yeah, I think that's going to be good. Uh, hold up, before we do that though, what's the rock collector going to say? What's the quarry going to say? Is this going to cover both? No. So, in that case, the quarry is going to go here. But first, we need power right up here. Let's just prioritize this one as well. Thankfully, we had enough tools in order to get this going. So that is all good. Uh, what I am going to also have to start doing here is start production on food, of course. So. One potato farm. 
two potato farms. Let's also start production on some. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna need this stuff actually. Let's put a well right here. We are gonna have to start getting some water. Another one right here. Alright, perfect. Next up, we need the vegetable. So let's get two, three vegetable farms right up here. Uh, let's also get rid of that, and that, and also that. Again, this is going to be the area for food only. I want to be a little bit more organized this round. Now that we know exactly what we got to do and how the game works, we definitely need to start being a little bit more organized. Uh, no, no, I don't want to destroy that. Should we want to demolish? No. So once we get enough, um, once we get enough stuff here, hopefully we are going to be able to start getting some tools in. Of course, we are also going to start to need to build up some more homes. Um, I'm going to go with the smaller ones because these don't really need tools in order to be built. I am going to keep this for uh, vegetables though. And I may go with another... Yeah, I'm not going to build anything here because this is where I'm going to build another warehouse. Alright, they are starting to produce food, which is absolutely great. And I am going to place the food in this storage. Right up here. Carrots, and, uh, actually not, uh, vegetables and uh, potatoes. That's what I'm going to store in here. Alright, uh, in the meantime, of course we need more houses just so that our people are going to start living the... Uh, just so that our people are going to start getting out of the spaceship and get to work. So let's put another one right up here. Another one, and another one. And let's get two more here. Perfect. Uh, this one is going to be safe for, let's see, a road and another wood chopper here. Alright, this is perfect. Yeah, everything is looking pretty good. Uh, currently, this is producing power, at least I hope so. Let's get some people to work here. Of course, it does need wood. So priority right now is going to be this, the woodcutter, and the power. And of course, the toolsmith, which is already prioritized. But hopefully, once we have the houses ready, um, hopefully more people are going to exit the spaceship here and start getting to work. Because we have four tools left. <laughs> but uh, I think we got the essential going. Now that we got the essential going, hopefully all we need now is for the people to get out of the spaceship and get to work, I guess. Let's see, let's prioritize the homes, the building of the homes. Alright, let's remove the prioritization from these two first. Just because we need them to start building up those homes so that we can get some more people in. Right, they are chopping wood. That is perfect. Uh, the thing is, I don't believe we have anywhere to store the wood. Maybe that's why this is a problem. Uh, let's see. Let's try to make another storage. So, another storage is going to be going right up here. And one more storage should be going around here somewhere just so that we can store some wood. Um, I wonder where I'm going to keep it though. Let's see, if I go with the road here and I get rid of that, I am going to be able to put a storage right up here. So let's, uh, let's just do that. Also, I'm going to get rid of this. This is where I'm going to create maybe a well or something like that since uh, that's just blocking the way. I am going to try to leave a few trees around. Um, yeah, not sure. We will see how that goes. Uh, the smaller ones, I am going to remove them, just because it's going to be a great place to put, I don't know, wells and stuff like that. But the thing is, once we are destroying these, we're also getting the resources out of them, so that is not bad at all. Also guys, just keep in mind, I am going to be waiting for new names for this island right over here, because as you can see, as we are right now on a new planet, we do have new islands that we got to um, rename. So this one is going to be waiting for a new name. Uh, let's see, what's the problem here? So this is going to be on planet number one on Earth. Apparently there is a little bit of thirst issue going on here. Also, they are getting a little bit crowded on these um, <clears throat> on these elevators. So let's try to build up another one. 
I mean, these, uh, this planet here is doing pretty well. They're not having any issues, which is really great. Let's just get some more of these elevators going, just so that they move a little bit faster through, um, through the mountain area. And what I would like to do here is create some more fountains somewhere. I just don't exactly know where to get them. Because we don't really have any more space here to build up fountains. Let's just see. So, this guy is complaining about not enough space peeps for all posts. I would love to get some more houses in here, but not too many. So, I am gonna go with just one house. Uh, on a desert island, I guess. Uh, the thing is, I do need to place this here. Get the house going right over here. And then get the well going right over here. Alright, perfect. That is not bad at all. That is not bad at all. Uh, in the meantime... Yeah, I hope they're doing pretty well. Uh, these guys definitely need to start producing some more food because Indianapolis here almost died on me. And I was really, really struggling with that. But look at this. They are now starting to produce food, which is really, really great. This is not an issue anymore because they have a lot of food going on. And I think they're also getting a lot of food from the other islands. Uh, which I should stop delivering from one island to the other. Uh, let's just see what's happening. So if I'm going to the shipping here... Okay, so this guy is uh, sending in some stuff. Let's just remove this. We don't want to send any more food. And we don't want to send any more of that either. Basics, I don't want them to send any of that either. So we should be all good for now. At least I hope so. If I'm gonna see them get hungry again, I am gonna start delivering some food from one island to the other. In the meantime, let's go back to island number two here to... let's see... Of course, Planet 2, because we haven't re renamed it just yet. I am gonna wait for a great name from you guys. Man, look at this! We got a freaking spaceship here landed. Uh, we're getting new stuff going on. What more do you want? This is looking lovely. Absolutely lovely. Alright, so currently we have 26 peeps. Uh, all the peeps from here have actually not left. We still have four more peeps that gotta leave. So, we are gonna have to build up another home. Uh, let's see, looks like this is the area where we have a lot of homes going on. This is where I'm gonna place another warehouse. Uh, let's place some more homes over here. And let's, see, let's keep expanding the roads to go this way. Alright, perfect. In the meantime, uh, let's also get a well up here. So currently we have three wells. Hopefully that's gonna be enough. Um, okay, so this thing is producing power. That is perfect. This thing is producing... Actually, it's not producing tools yet. It just needs power and it needs some more wood. I have a feeling we may need to start producing some more of these things so that we can get some more wood coming in. So let's just slow that down a little bit. Um... So again, my peeps on Indianapolis, I think they're getting thirsty. Yeah, so these guys keep getting thirsty, on and on. That is an issue because... <clears throat> I don't really have a possibility to create some more wells. I mean, we got this one going. I could create a well right up here, but the thing is, in order to do that, I may need to remove this um, the trees here. And we definitely need the trees for these guys. Don't want to do that, that's for sure. Oh, hold up. This is a space for a well. So let's get another well right here. Perfect. And I think that's actually going to be it. There's no more green spaces. I mean, there is this one. I could create a... Actually, I cannot cross here. <laughs> Uh, I'm not going to be able to come and use this one, unfortunately. I mean, I should just remove this house in order for that to work. Create a well here. And put the house that I just destroyed maybe around here somewhere. So let's just do that. Let's get one house here and... Maybe another house here. Alright, let's go back to planet number two. There we go. 
All right, so we are back. Uh, these guys are in need of what? Resources, I guess. Wood in order to finish up the work. Uh, we're trying. We're trying to do the best we can. Uh, in the meantime, let's produce another one of uh, these wood makers. We definitely need a lot of wood to come in. Also, what we definitely need is... Let's see. So this is a warehouse that is getting built up. We definitely need that going faster so that we can hold in the woods. We are going to have to put in some warehouses up here as well. Uh, maybe I could place another warehouse... Up here? Actually, this is going to be a really great place for a warehouse, so maybe up here. Yeah, I'm definitely going to place it up here, and these two slots are going to be safe for uh, the uh, quarries. And if I need some more metal, I will need to create another one of these uh, iron mines right up here. Later on, maybe, I don't know. For now, we are good. Look at this. Tools are starting to grow, which is absolutely perfect. That is definitely the way to go in order for us not to lose. Alright, uh, in the meantime, let's get rid of this. And what I would like to do here is get a little bit of cleaning production. Uh, just because pollution is going to start to be an issue. Uh, so let's see, this one is expanding this way. Alright, not affecting much. This one is expanding this way, not expecting much. This one is expanding this way. So maybe the cleaning production should go up top on the mountain. Right up here somewhere. Maybe here? I mean, this is cleaning up, but it's not cleaning up too much. I think I would rather have it, this one right here instead. So let's just go with one pollution cleaner right up here. Why not? Alright, there we go. Now we can store some stuff in here. So that's where the uh, food is going. Uh, we are gonna store... Let's see, what are we gonna store in here? I think I wanna store some water in here though. Water is gonna be really important. Water is definitely going to be really important to be stored in here. So let's just start storing in some water in here and leave it as is for now. Uh, let's uh, see. So we got potatoes. We got two potato farms. Not bad. Um, I could go with three potato farms. Then let's go with... Actually, no, no. Uh, we need... We got three vegetable farms, and then I think I'm gonna go with some tea fields as well. Just to increase the happiness a little bit. And lastly, some more vegetable farms. Just as I said, this is gonna be the area for a lot of foods. That's why I want it all to be around here somewhere. Alright, so that is perfect. That thing is getting done. Uh, in the meantime, I would also like to build up one of these uh, explorer huts. Why the heck not? Just because I want them to start working a little bit, and start collecting stuff for me. I could place one around here somewhere. Yeah, you know what, let's just place one right up here. Just so that they uh, do their job faster. Um, I'm also gonna future-proof this with another elevator. There we go. Alright, so this warehouse is done. What other people are getting thirsty? Again, Indianapolis, let's see. Yeah, Indianapolis, still, they are really, really thirsty. Uh, what I also have to do here is get the school open because we need some more peeps to come in here. Hopefully, they will be able to cover all the jobs. Oh, we got two schools in here. Are you freaking kidding me right now? Why the hell did I do that? Let's get this one removed then. How the heck did I get two schools in here? I must have uh, not been paying attention then. Hopefully they will remove this one and... We are gonna get some more space for, I don't know, another two wells for water. Alright, uh, in the meantime, as they are growing here to 58, hopefully... Uh, let's see, this house is able to hold on more people... I wish I could place something here though, but that is not going to happen. I could also place another well here if I had... Yeah, I cannot actually because of this one. This one's going to be in the way, so there's no reason to do that. 
right? And I think uh, we're looking pretty good so far. I don't believe we got to do anything else. Let's just go back to planet number two here, to the warehouse that's just been finished. Perfect. And on this warehouse here, we are going to start holding in iron ore and iron. All right. Uh, next up, of course, we are also going to need... Uh, let's see. Let's try to figure this out. Now, of course, if you want to try to grab some stone from here, we are going to need a quarry. Hmm, if only I could place one here to grab the, the stuff from these two, though. I mean, the only way we could do that... You know what? Let's just build it here. Once they are done collecting all the stuff from there, we're just going to change it. We're just going to move it some, some other way, I guess. Some other place. Um, yeah, I think we should be good for now. I'm definitely going to place another warehouse up here, though. I really want to do that. I'm not sure if, if it's going to be a good idea or not, but... I think I should do it. Alright, so currently we do not have enough people to work, I guess. Uh, we definitely need to increase our population here. A little bit at least so in order to do that we are gonna need a school uh, so let's see school is gonna go I mean that one's gonna be an elevator right yeah that's gonna be an elevator I want to place the school in a gray location though around here somewhere so let's get rid of that uh, let's see, this one is covering these trees, I guess. And because of that, we could get rid of these two trees. Just to make space for some more construction. There we go. Let's start construction a... Let's start construction on a school right here. I know this one is going to be close to a wood chopper, but it is what it is. It is what it is. Um, let's also get... No, I don't need that. What I need is another well right up here. Straight into the center. Perfect. This guy is getting rid of the trees like crazy. This guy as well. And we still can't uh, produce enough trees. Look at that. Damn. The thing is, we're not really storing the trees anywhere. So we should build up a warehouse around here somewhere to store up the trees. Where can we build another warehouse to store the trees? I mean, again, I know this one is holding, look at this, potatoes and vegetables. It's already filled up on that, which is not bad at all. Yeah, we're definitely going to need another warehouse. So let's get ourselves another warehouse in somewhere. And I believe I'm going to place it up here when I, where I said I'm going to build it. Alright, uh, what are these things? Not quite sure, I don't believe that's anything. Let's just go through, maybe up there like that, get rid of this one, get another road coming up to here, and I will see what I'm going to build there. Alright, in the meantime, let's see, this one is not getting filled up with, actually it is, look at that, we already have three of that and six of the iron ore. Alright, well, things are definitely uh, starting to work here really nicely. Uh, we are gonna need, though, some more wood production, that's for sure. Currently we have one, two, and I believe I'm gonna place a third one, maybe up here. Yeah, let's just place another third, a third one right up here. Uh, let's go with three. Come on, buddy. There we go. This one is gonna be the one. Uh, how about the school? Is the school ready? Alright, so the school is ready. This one is going to hopefully start producing us some more peeps. But of course, in order to start producing peeps, we are going to need some more homes. Uh, so let's just start production on level 2 homes. Let's place another one up here. Uh, let's try to place another one right up here. Perfect. Let's get another home... Maybe right up here, get this one going. Uh, 
Uh, let's also remove these two. Why not? Just so that we can grab some more extra wood, I guess. Move up to here. Remove this. Uh, what I'm also going to do, I think I'm going to remove this one as well. Just Actually, not just yet. We don't need that. Uh, let's just keep going. So, inside the spaceship, we still, we still have two more peeps that got to exit here and fill up the homes. Uh, but hopefully once this one is done, they will leave and uh, move inside. Finally, they will be able to exit the spaceship. Alright, uh, these guys on Indianapolis are still thirsty. Wow. So difficult to keep these guys going. Uh, let's get a road here then and another well over here. I see that the production of wood here is pretty bad. Do we even have any more workers on the uh, wood mills? This is the sand mill. So this is the wood mill. Are they even working here? I mean, I guess they are. Let's just open that spot up just so that they can start producing some more wood. And I guess that's going to be it. I don't really see anything else we can do. I don't have any more slots around here that we can work with. So it is what it is. It's going to have to just work as it is. Uh, I see that the production for food is going up. So they are finally safe here. Um, what I could also do here, I could take out the school, because they definitely don't need the school anymore. They have 60 out of 60 people in here. Yeah, you know what? Let's just get rid of the school. We definitely don't need it. And I'm gonna come back to this and build up another, um... Another well, just in case they need it. In the meantime, let's go back to Alan number. Let's go back to plan number two. All right, and here we are gonna start storing in the wood. We got wood. There we go. Lots and lots of wood. Oh, look at this. We actually can start researching stuff. Seriously, space flight. And if we do this one, we're gonna simply be able to go from one planet to the other and start uh, importing stuff, I guess. Right. So let's just go with that research. There we go. Now, the reason we're doing this is because the other researches require uh, two or maybe three types of researches. And the only way we're going to be able to do that is by transferring research points, I guess, from one planet to the other. Alright, this is awesome. This is really good. I'm loving this. So, I was pretty sure that once we go to a new location here, to a new planet, we are actually going to be able to start gathering some more stuff. And as I can see here, people have already left the um, spaceship, which is great. Uh, potatoes. Contains 10 out of 10, uses one per action. And this one contains some stone as well. I don't know why they're not removing this stuff from the spaceship, but anyway, it is what it is. And I don't know why the name is not Falcon Heavy. <laughs> Maybe that name only appears once, uh, once in the sky. But anyway, look at that. They are producing a lot of food. That is great. Look at this. This, this is already filled up with food. They are doing great here. And I'm definitely going to look into uh, increasing the population even more. I want to reach about 50 or 60 population, something like that. I don't know. We will see. Um, but for now, what I'm going to do is get rid of this. Make a road up to here. And I'm going to make another road here or maybe... Yeah, just so that we can build some stuff in here in this location and not waste it. So, let's just get rid of this forest as well and this one as well. Alright, this one is chopping up trees. Perfect. Um, this one, I think I'm going to remove it because I'm going to start creating another well here, I think. Um, yeah, let's just see how the water production is going. So, the man 15, production 16. So, we are pretty tight here. The man for potato as well, it's pretty tight. Although we have enough potatoes, I don't know, I'm not gonna build any more of that. I'm gonna be a little bit more careful here on um, production of buildings or that need workers. Look at this one, this one is almost done. We've already uh, almost got everything from that one. I'm gonna try not to build anything on here. Hopefully this is gonna regenerate though, I don't know. We'll see what's, what's gonna happen once it's done. Uh, what next? So, in the meantime, I want to remove this. Now that we got this going, let's re 
put another road up here. I'm either gonna build up another road here and start producing some stuff, but for now I'm just gonna wait. Let's see, for now we have one uh, elevator here, one elevator here. And if I decide to go with my peeps all the way to the side... Definitely gonna need to expand that road there. And I think I'm gonna make another bridge up here, another elevator. So let's just go ahead and do that. Let's just place you up here. Perfect. Let's keep going with the road. Up to there. And if you tie these two rows together, that's gonna be perfect. There we go. Look at that. Now my peeps will be able to cross the land with no problem at all. Alright, uh, so we got all the resources connected to roads. This way my peeps can go and grab everything they need. Look at this guy. <laughs> Where are you going, dude? Why'd you go all the way over like that? All around? That was weird. Anyway, if that works for you, I guess that's okay. Look at this. He's going the other way again. <laughs> Why is he doing that? Is that road even faster? I don't believe it is. Oh, maybe it's faster to get here. Hmm, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> if you prefer to do it like that, then it is what it is. Um, in the meantime, let's see, what else? We're gonna be able to make another elevator here if we can, but I don't think we need that. Uh, not enough workers for the spots, of course. Yep, I know. Uh, hold up, so this one is holding water. It's already filled up with water. Hmm, interesting. I really want to start holding in some tea as well. But again, we need more warehouses for that to work. So let's start producing some more warehouses then. Let's see, I could place another warehouse. Yeah, I think I'm going to place another warehouse right up here. This one is going to be for tea maybe and cotton or something like that. I mean, I'm not sure if these houses, I'm not sure if these peeps around here are gonna need clothing because the weather here is really nice. But they are gonna need jewels though, so that is something that I'm gonna have to work on creating. So if I make a market for luxury goods, let's see. I'm also gonna place the market all the way up here because this one is closer to the houses. So let's just go ahead and do that. And let's also start building in some more homes. Let's see, one home here, another one like that. Uh, let's make a road up here and get rid of these two trees. I mean, I think we're done with, yeah, I think I'm going to get rid of these two. Get a rope here and destroy that. There we go. If I make another road here. That's gonna be perfect. And I could just create one more warehouse. Maybe up here, just like that. Alright, so next up, let's see what else. Of course, we still need a lot of a lot more peeps to go on. But thankfully the school here is producing peeps for us, which is great. I am gonna stop this. I think four teachers is gonna be enough here. We don't need too many teachers in here, that's for sure. He's playing. Ilona is playing. Or maybe this is not really holding up teachers. This is just holding up the number of uh, peeps that are growing up, the number of children. But uh, we are good. We are good on that. We're not really... Um, we're not really in a hurry to get, that to, to get that going. What I'm gonna do though is, of course, produce some more water. This is gonna be really important because pretty soon my peeps are gonna get thirsty. Pretty sure about that. So let's get another well right up here. Um, okay, look at that. This one is done. So let's start storing in some fruits in here. Oh, no, no, not that. Uh, we need to store tea. That's smoothies. Let's store tea and food in here. Good meals. And this one is just meals. All right, so if I store some tea and meals in here, hopefully that's going to be good. That's going to be That's going to be enough. Actually, the thing is, we cannot store meals in here unless we have a kitchen. And the thing about the kitchens... 
Actually, never mind. We can have some kitchens going. Never mind. That may be really good if we do it. Uh, this is actually polluting, though. Cooks meals from ingredients. Or what's, uh, what's with this purple thing around it? Is that pollution? Uh, let's just see what's gonna say. So if I go here... Oh, never mind, look at this! Launch pad and a landing pod. No way, we've just built up a launch pad. We can now build up a launch pad right here, look at that! Are you kidding me right now? Dude, we got SpaceX doing its thing right now, look at this! That is crazy! And if you build this one up here... Uh, yeah, let's just build this one right up here. Why not? Why the heck not? Expand the road, get that removed, and we'll see what we're gonna do here next. That's gonna be crazy. Actually, let's not do that. Let's remove it. Um, also, what's gonna happen if I build this? I don't get it. So this, launch pad for a spaceship. Alright, and this one? Allow straight spaceships to exchange resources with the planet's surface. You may only build one landing pad per planet. I mean, isn't this considered a launch pad? Huh. Don't even know. Because I'm pretty sure we cannot build one, this one here. This, is, uh, this one is actually gonna be here forever, I think. This one is gonna be locked in place in here. I don't believe we're gonna be able to do anything about it. But, um, you know what, guys? I think uh, we're gonna have to end it up right here for now. Uh, now that we got ourselves to a new planet, which I really, really enjoy, I think uh, we are actually going to have to end up the episode right here for now. And when we come back in the next one, we are gonna keep on exploring this island, try to keep on growing our population here. And once we got enough, we are gonna definitely start sending in some resources to planet Earth and keep on researching some more technology. Alright, anyway, as usual guys, thank you all very much for watching another episode of Before We Leave. I really hope you enjoyed this. And of course, if you did, a like would be much appreciated, as that would help the channel quite a lot. And if you guys are new here and have subscribed yet, please consider doing that, as I'm posting videos just like this one every single day, playing many more indie adventure games and puzzle games I'm pretty sure you'll enjoy. Stay safe, and I'll see you all in the next one soon. Bye!